Uh, this is Shoot Steel with HackingJungle.com. Today we're going to be uh, flashing an, uh, an 83850C version 2 light on uh, drive. Uh, you flip it over, take your four screws off, take the back cover off. You have two screws here. In the interest of time, I went ahead and made the, uh, the cuts on the MOBO, uh, did the scrapes, uh, and pre-tinned them. <coughs> but other than that, we're going we're gonna to watch the, uh, uh, the, uh, the whole process. In addition, uh, additionally, what you need is one jumper, and one jumper wire that looks like that and uh, to uh, jump one trace uh, because today I'm going to be using the new uh, uh, homemade probe that I made which you can find on Hacking Jungle I'm going to go back over here to uh, my computer <clears throat> and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of thin cardboard and slide it underneath my uh, uh, my MOBO and I'm going to hook up the uh, SATA drive, I mean, the SATA cable. And then I'm going to hook up a standard uh, CK3 probe uh, lead that I modified uh, with, my, uh, with my dual probes necessary for the uh, version 2, 8000 series, and the, and all 9000 series. Uh, details can be found on HackingJungle.com, how to make your own. As you can see right here, this is the negative side uh, with the two diodes, one, uh, two 10 ohm diodes uh, to basically build a 20 ohm. Uh, you see some places that say 22 ohm, some that say 20, some that say 18. Uh, 20 ohm has uh, worked for me for uh, a dozen or more drives. Uh, <clears throat> I have my jumper in place. I'm going to insert my points into the MOBO and I'm going to press down. Now I'm going to cut my CK3 on so I powered the board now I'm gonna go to my computer screen where I have DOS flash on my desktop and I'm gonna use DOS flash 32 DOS flash 32 uh, I fire it up and if the MTK vendor intro, it said it failed. So I'm going to press no. It's very important to press no. Bam. There's my flash chip properties. They, if you see this MXIC, uh, the uh, serial status 72, you're good to go. Now what I want you to do is look back at my drive. And at this point, I'm going to tilt my homemade probe up so that the negative is not making contact but the positive is all right now we go back to the computer and i will read the flash you have to name it and i'm going to name this hj uh 8000 enter <clears throat> reading back two three and it's finished as long as you get a data sum of some caliber, you're good to go. Uh, I'm going to press OK. I'm gonna, now I'm going to unplug my uh, probe and cut off my CK3 probe. Uh, we're going to go back to the computer where I'm going to X out of DOS slash. Hopefully we're not going to need that anymore. And I'm going to uh, open up Jungle Flasher 1.69. Uh, there's Jungle Flasher. And what 
what, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, look at that uh, bin file that I just created with DOS Flash. So I'm going to open my source firmware. And we call that HJ8000. And I'm going to open it. And uh, as you can see, we have a valid key. Uh, the key is good, and so we can uh, proceed to flash uh, this drive normally. Uh, which normally would be, go to MTK flash, press light on erase, uh, hit yes, yes, uh, power, uh, power cycle, uh, power cycle of drive, and uh, uh, write the dump. But before we do any of that, it's very, very important that uh, we go back, we unplug our, our drive off, the, uh, off our computer, go back to our soldering station, desolder the jumper, and uh, resolder the points that we cut. Now we cut three cuts, but basically two points. So what I use, I have just diodes hanging uh, hanging here, but you have resistors or resistor pieces. Uh, I cut it, uh, cut a part of an end off the resistor, lay it on top, so it covers the whole trace. Then I would solder all the points. They uh, to make sure. In this case, it would be three since we had two cuts. Uh, then here we have one cut, so I'd sort make sure I cut a little piece and soldered each end, and that would go ahead and uh, make the connections. So at that point, we could take this drive, carry it back to our computer, and flash it. It's very important to restore your your uh, motherboard. Uh, it the the circuit the circuitry prior to flashing it. Uh, if you have any questions, please visit, visit us at thehackingjungle.com. And I thank you for, uh, for watching this video. This is Shoot Steel, and have a great day.